Welcome back to KSNT News here on your Monday morning. Always my pleasure to welcome uh, Shawnee County Commissioner Kevin Cook here on the show this morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Glad to be here. Always good to have you. Well, you know, there's been some controversy over uh, the Lane Garden Park and why that is not a part of uh, Shawnee County Parks and Rec. Sure. So Lane Garden is at uh, 12th and Lane. It's uh, across the street from the Aaron Douglas Art Park. Now, the Tennessee Town NIA, or Neighborhood Improvement Association, acquired or purchased these parcels of land, and they've been doing some improvements on them, and they've been asking Shawnee County Parks and Rec to consider adding this to the Shawnee County Park System. Yeah. But this was not part of the Shawnee County consolidation. It was not something that came over as part of the consolidation between Shawnee County and the City of Topeka. And while we appreciate all the work that they've been putting into the neighborhood, it has to go through a process before it becomes adopted as a park. Okay. And, you know, alongside that, uh, there's been some concerns brought up about the Potwin neighborhood. They just uh, mm -hmm. received over $40,000 for a grant to upkeep Garden Mead and, and make things look a little nicer in that neighborhood. And a big question for many people is why that neighborhood and not sure. others? Sure. So back in September, September the 20th of 2018, there were 14 or 15 different projects brought forth by John Knight over with Shawnee County Parks and Rec for improvements and these were items were for deferred maintenance that they were going to use excess reserves for and Potwin was listed as one of those along with 14 other projects mm -hmm. and uh, they were going out for bid at that time and there was no opposition at that point and this is in putting in there were already the uh, spigots at the Potwin circle so rather than having somebody come and personally water them they could be put on a timer saving the taxpayers manpower and the timing and making more efficiencies. And so this is something that we've been doing across the county is looking at being more efficient with our taxpayer dollars. Yeah, and I know one I think a lot of viewers have come up with is, is you know, that, that neighborhood is predominantly uh, more, uh, you know, of an upper income kind of area. Why, why not other areas that may not have quite as much funding going towards their, sure. their neighborhoods? And again, that was part of the Parks and Rec consolidation, so that is considered a park. Um, those are the differences that you look at in, cons in, in comparing the two um, and looking at what ways, and we're doing this across the county, not just in one neighborhood or one area. Okay. Now, a few updates to share this morning. Uh, what's going on with the privatization of uh, the smoking, uh, or excuse me, I'm sorry, of the trash services <laughs> here in our area? Well, we hope the trash isn't smoking. No. <laughs> and so, you know, there will not be a privatization of the Shawnee County Trash Service. Okay. It'll stay under Shawnee County. At this time, though, we are looking to expand to have a director of solid waste. And so that way, parks and or the public works director can focus really in on roads and bridges and not just having to handle both the roads, the bridges, and the trash. And so we're in the process of looking at having that as its own independent department. Okay, but not privatized here. But not privatized. And real quick, speaking of smoking, uh, what's going on with uh, the smoking regulations proposed for parks? Still looking at that through the Shawnee County Health Department and looking at w working with Parks and Recreation. Again, we are looking at our community health improvement, trying to find ways to improve the health in Shawnee County. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Kevin Cook here in the studio with us this morning.